Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is going to be the next NHL team preview slash outlook for the New Jersey Devils, who are currently playing only Trey on the Boston Bruins, one nothing in a half park game, and a great game by Mackenzie Blackwood, as in recording this in game one of the regular season. The Devils are going to rely a lot on their young talent this year, and Nikita Gusev continuing to improve. Guys like Jesper Boquist coming over from Sweden, uh, Yanni Kukkonen uh, playing well coming over from Finland. And then Sharangovich playing well as well, who's already playing well, drew a couple penalties, actually three, count them, in the first game so far. So he's already displaying his good talent that he showed immensely in the KHL before getting called back over here. So they got it going. They got a nice young core. They're a team that's still building in a very tough division. They're not there yet, but they're a team that's going to be very fun and very interesting to watch all season as they grow and build. Mackenzie Blackwood is now the dude. He's the guy in town. Corey Crawford retired, so now it is Blackwood's town and Blackwood's game in net. And he's one of the most underrated goalies in the league. And uh, he's a guy that's really going to be able to set an example and set a staple for himself, especially in uh, game one like he's doing so far against the Bruins. He's going to have the toughest division, arguably, other than maybe the Canadian division, depending which one you want to spin there as the toughest in his favor, actually, for when he has great numbers, because I think he is going to put up very good numbers this year. I think this is going to be a very good year for Mackenzie Blackwood, and that's going to be a reason why the Devils are a scrappy team. They just got put into an even harder division than they're usually in, and now a division they are already usually in was not going to benefit them that much from just where they are in the rebuild right now as well. I have Ty Smith coming up on defense who is obviously a great prospect, played great in the WHL. Um, he's a guy that's going to fill in immensely and fill in great and continue to probably move up his lines. He's starting on the third pairing. I'm sure he could potentially move up for Kulikov, and Kulikov could move down to that third pairing. They just have a couple guys with Tennyson. Uh, how is Subban going to fit in in the final year of his contract? Obviously going to want to show up and show out, but is he actually going to start fitting in better in that jersey system now with Ruffa? We'll see. And then uh, how is Kulikov obviously going to continue to do as he was starting to have a bounce back last year? So is that going to continue to be the case? So there's some questions, obviously, with this team. I think what is said about New Jersey and what needs to be said about New Jersey is just make this a fun season of seeing where the young guys go, have the young guys develop. It's all about seeing where those guys go because those are the guys that are the future building blocks of their team. They, of course, picked another guy in Alexander Holt, who's a very good pickup in the draft, and Nolan Foote on the left wing as well, who's playing very well in the WHL. So there's other guys that are not too far away. Dawson Mercer was another good pickup from the QMJHL at 60 points in 42 games as well. So the future is bright for New Jersey. They're just about a year or two away from really contending in this division. They still need to rework their defense a little bit more to be able to protect Blackwood better, and that's really when they're going to be at the next level. I look for guys like Jesper Bratt and others to be able to take a step up this year, but I think it's just mostly going to be a season of looking at the young guys, looking to see if the young guys can improve, if Nick Merkley gets a chance, if Nolan Foote gets a chance to throw on the taxi squad. What are they going to be able to show when they get that chance this year? Um, what is a guy like Jack Hughes going to show uh, in his season this year? And then what is a guy like Travis Zajac going to show as a veteran? He's really just the guy that helps to lead these guys along. I think it was great to uh, keep him around. And then Michael McLeod as well as a youngster. What is he going to show? This team is full of guys that are 23 and younger. And that's a good thing, obviously, because a lot of these guys that are 23 and younger, the Boquist, the Hughes, the McLeods of the world, the Sharangoviches of the world. I mean, they're all going to be key players for this team and what they hope are their core players going forward, as well as Ty Smith, obviously. So I think this team is building in the right direction. They're doing everything they should. Uh, Tom Fitzgerald and Lindy Ruff is instilling his system, and it's going to take a little bit, but Fitzgerald is putting a good thing together in Jersey. Just be patient with this team. It's going to be a fun team to watch. They're not going to make the playoffs this year, I do not think, though, however, unfortunately for Devils fans. But they will be a very good, fun, and competitive, bad, under 500 team. Not bad, competitive, under 500 team. Let me put it that way. I don't think this team, because of the division, will be able to get to 500. But I wouldn't be surprised if they're closer to it than people expect, just because of how good 
that they could be of a surprise near 500 team, at least, if all their young guys really are able to show up and show out. But losing Corey Crawford for that platoon in net really has put a dampen on them having any chance, really, which it was still small at that right, but any chance to be able to move up in the standings here. So this has been the New Jersey Devils NHL team preview slash standings projection. I hope everyone has a great, safe, and pleasant day and is enjoying the hockey. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.